This review is brought to you in part by Dean's Hobby Stop in Owasso, Michigan. Dean's has one of the Midwest's largest selections of used kits at great prices. They also feature new kits and supplies as well. Call Dean's to get their mail order list featuring hundreds of vintage kits or check their website for great deals on both new and classic models. Thanks for joining us at Right on Replicas where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers Tom Daniels futuristic racer the Cherry Bomb. It has a bubble canopy that shows off the detailed interior as well as a view bubble that extends uh, and shows the turbine motor. And right behind that sweet ride is a, a chopper, a Harley chopper with a cherry bomb gas tank on a custom trailer. This review covers the re-released boxing of the Monogram 85-4191 Cherry Bomb Car Show by Tom Daniel in 124 scale. And Ravel rates this as an intermediate level kit at skill level 2 in the old system. It's been around for quite a few years and it's got a stamp on it that says 1970 but uh, based on previous versions this is the same same car and same kit with no changes uh, it consists of 65 parts molded in red clear and chrome with vinyl tires the decals are the same as the original design and but they are much improved decals uh, in the new kits and it's really like two models first you get the car and a separate motorcycle and trailer and it's always been uh, a curbside kit. Uh, you know, you can't really uh, open the hatches that show off the motor, but you can see them. So most of the detail of the build is in the motorcycle, but it builds pretty easily. When finished, the overall look is nice and neat. And with some creativity, it'd be the base for a custom build. Overall, when you're done, it's about 7 inches long, the car. And the trailer is about uh, 4 and 3 quarter inches long. It's about three and a half inches wide and about a little over two inches high. Here are the contents of this kit. And as you can see, everything's bagged well. Um, but some people would call this an open box review. Uh, in five seconds, you can see all the parts, but that won't help you build the kit now, will it? So we're going to help you do that. But remember to follow the manufacturer's safety suggestions when using any of the products that you see here in the review. Here are the decals for this kit. As you can see, they're very colorful and the registry is good. I recommend you use some of the aftermarket setting solutions to help these uh, decals conform to the curves on the model. Also know that we'll be using Model Master liquid cement for most of the build, occasionally some super glue for strength, and where clear parts are involved, a white uh, glue or a crystal clear from Micro. I'm going to deviate from the uh, instruction process uh, by starting with the body because there's quite a bit of parts here that need to be painted and you'll note that the copyright date on the bottom of the lower body half now you'll need to scrape that off and sand it smooth with uh, uh, some various degrees of grit in order to uh, make that ready for paint one of the first issues you might encounter is that when you put the exhaust port on the body you'll find that it's not a good fit um, it should be flush with the body, not sticking out as an add-on, and it would have been better if they had just molded it onto the car, but uh, I decided to repair and correct it. Uh, but if you decide not to do that, you can just uh, skip the rework here. The first thing uh, to be done to rework this is to remove the inner part of the body where the port's installed. I used an X-Acto knife and uh, slowly scribed along the edge with the back side of the blade until the panel was cut through and removed. Then I used some sanding sticks to slowly sand and clean the opening smooth uh, to fit the port flush there. Go slow and fit it uh, often and then once the parts fit flush together, glue the port into the opening. Then we'll use some putty to smooth out the area there. My favorite uh, for this application is uh, what used to be Bondo. I think it's 3M now. It's glazing and spot putty. And uh, you just paste that on there and then smooth it out with uh, finer uh, degrees of sandpaper until you get to about a 600 uh, to give it a nice smooth finish. And see how it looks and then fix any blemishes with some more. Now the body comes in red uh, color, but uh, because of the repairs I did and uh, I'll for a richer uh, finish, you'll you'll want to paint this model. So I primed it uh, 
uh, inside and out and wet sanded the parts that uh, needed that with some 800 paper. And then they're shown here now in the primer and check for the repair area for any further blemishes that need to be touched up. So you'll want to uh, paint the trailer the same color as the um, a car so uh, do do the due diligence here assemble the two halves and wet sand the whole thing with some fine sandpaper and then paint the trailer at the same time. Now we'll work on the motorcycle frame too because it's also the same color and it needs to be assembled but don't use glue on the neck where the handlebars mount. The handlebars will be attached later but due to the mold line down the middle of the bike you must assemble it and paint it as a unit to hide the mold line. After you've given it a coat of primer the motorcycle frame uh, can be wet sanded and then you can paint it with the rest of the parts but notice the mold lines here are hidden in the primer and the area on the fender where it shows will be under the seat so it won't matter there. Get these parts out for the seat because the interior will need to be painted at this time as well and the rear panel area on the part is body color and the seat is a satin black. Now wet sand the parts again with some fine sandpaper and primer it the same way as the rest of the parts. Then paint the uh, satin black seat and the panel on the right side is aluminum with black buttons. Now install two control sticks on each side of the seat. Now paint all the parts that we've primered with the body color of your choice and then paint the body halves, the trailer, the motorcycle, the headlights for both the car and the cycle. And then uh, there are parts that are all in body color here and do the decal work and then once they've dried overnight give this a clear coat to seal in the decals. There's some small detail painting that needs to be done here on the dash panel. It's flat black with some silver gauges and red dials so that'll add a nice touch to the interior. Some of the decals are a little finicky with thin strips so use plenty of warm water to uh, get them completely off the backing paper and then use some more warm water on the body to make sure you position them before you smooth them out and add the decal setting solution. Now we'll work with the window glass. Now I always dip this in some future floor polish uh, to give it a thinner crisper look. You just uh, dip it in there and then wick the uh, excess off and let it dry and it looks much clearer and cleaner. So we're going to uh, start assembling that body together at this time. Using some of that white glue, uh, attach the bubble top under the uh, back grill, and then you can leave it loose so that it, uh, it'll open if you wish, but I tacked mine into place with some of the uh, white glue to hold it there. Now from the inside, attach the seat into place, assemble the headlight stock to the cover, and add the lens in place. Then install uh, the finished headlights to the body and install the dome engine over the engine bay. Now we can start working on the bottom half. It gets assembled next. So use some uh, flat black mixed with 50-50 uh, with thinner and give the wash over the turbine to highlight the details. Then paint the ends of the turbine steel. Install that unit into place with the long pins in the back and inside the body tub there. Now install the exhaust port uh, grill into place too. Remember to scrape any chrome or paint away from the areas that you need to glue uh, parts into place and the front and rear suspension then are mounted directly to the bottom of the body tub. So install the front axle into place and attach the radius rods to that uh, and to the indent on the body and assemble the rear axle halves and add the transmission box. Install that unit into place on the back of the body tub. Gather the tire and wheel parts. There are four small tires and two drag slicks and due to this being a show car uh, there would be little to no use on the tires so uh, but you can give them a little bit of um, a finish where the tread area is by you know just pressing and rolling those on a flat surface with some 220 sandpaper to give them a little little bit of an edge or a bite. Now paint the wheel backs uh, flat black uh, with a silver rim and install the rim fronts in place and slide the hub through the hole and the wheel backs until the back is flush in the tire. The wheel backs have different hub lengths as you can see here, the ones with the longer hubs go on the trailer and the ones with the shorter ones go on the rear of the car. Now install the small tires on the front axle and the slicks onto the rear axle and glue those into place. Scrape off the plating and glue the trailer uh, hitch to the rear end. Locate the contact points and install the upper half of the body onto the lower half of it. Now install the trailer hitch to the rear end and this completes the assembly of the car itself. 
Set this aside and we'll finish the trailer and the motorcycle. Just for reference, here's a front end uh, photo of this futuristic cruiser. As you can see, Tom Daniel had uh, a great uh, imagination and eye for design. This is the rear end uh, and it's pretty simple and plain, but um, you'll see that the trailer kind of camouflages this back end anyway. Find the towing hitch and install that on the front of the trailer. Then add the tires to the trailer's axles and you are completed with trailer assembly. Now we can set this aside to finish the motorcycle. Grab these parts to start assembling the motorcycle. And note that uh, the forks here uh, are go onto the frame uh, and you'll need to slide the center bar into the neck mount carefully. Now the gas cap is silver and the handlebar grips are black. Now assemble the motor halves and use some of that flat black uh, wash with 50-50 thinner and highlight the heads on the motor. So with just four pieces now you can see that this motorcycle is starting to look like an assembled unit. Grab the front and rear tires and rims and note that they are different sizes. And match them up and install the front rim halves into the front tire. Do the same with the rears and insert the smaller tire onto the front forks. Then paint the chain gold and line it up with the sprocket in the rear wheel. Slide the rear wheel into place, inserting the chain into the transmission. The rear wheel is not attached yet, so in the next step, the pins from the sissy bar hold the wheel into place. And note how the chain slides into the transmission. There's real no a positive mount for it, so the seat is painted black and then installed. Gather up the last parts for the motorcycle, paint the seat back black, and attach it to the sissy bar and then install the sissy bar into place with the pins through the rear wheel hub. Install the exhaust pipes in place and then paint the headlights silver and add them to the front crossbar. Add the clear light in, into the rear fender and your motorcycle should be complete at this time. Well there you have it. Your model is complete with a custom rod, uh, motorcycle and trailer. And in the day, Tom Daniel and uh, Ravel, of course, were putting these out uh, to try and inspire and get new builders in. So it's a simplistic build, but still there's enough to do there to keep you busy for a couple of days. Uh, but overall, it's just beautiful when it's finished and it really makes a nice display for your shelf. The only real negative for the kit is the exhaust port fit. And that can be remedied by a, a modeler with some moderate skills. Uh, but uh, nonetheless... Just about anybody could build this model and have a really nice looking uh, custom uh, display for their, for their collection. So if you can find one and they're still widely available, I'd get one, put it together in a weekend and put it on my shelf. We hope you like this premium scale model review. And so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. But you can find us on Facebook and at our website www.rideonreplicas.com Thanks!